don't know whether uh, George Hegel is familiar to you, great 18th century German philosopher. Um, and he said uh, in German uh, that, that, that no man, I'll do it in English actually, he said that no man, he said, should stand up and speak in public for longer, he said, than he could make love to his wife. But on the basis that you said keep it down to about three minutes, <laughs> which the Sun newspaper says is about right, um, I'm all right then. Yeah. So I guess really I've been invited here only, reasonably so, the logic is because of The Apprentice. Uh, loved and hated in equal measure. And I think it's about time that we had a pub task. Yeah, so with that so. heavy hint, Keep watching, boost the figures. There is a pub task coming up, and it's great fun. It's great fun. But one of the few fun things, really, about being uh, involved with The Apprentice is you meet interesting people. And there was a sport relief, a special charity one the other week, and there was a big party at the end of it. And I was standing there minding my own business, and up shuffled the great Clement Freud. Um, he has an extraordinarily large head. <laughs> it's the size of a horse's head. Anyway, shuffle up. He's an old man, now he's got these sort of soulful eyes, and he said, oh, he said, he said, I, uh, he said, he, uh, I watched that program, you, you know, he said, I quite like that program, he said, you don't do a bad job. And, uh, it was quite a compliment from someone like Clement Freud, you see, so I said, um, rather taken aback, being a modest fellow, God knows I've got quite a lot to be modest about, I said to him, well, not really, I said, I'm, um, a bit of a fraud, actually, and he said, no, 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 he said, I'm a complete Freud. And with that, he sort of wandered off. <laughs> That's Clement Freud for you. But there was something that was very appropriate about calling myself a fraud. Because I think that every manager in this place has got more business skills than I've got. You run a more complex business than I've ever run. And you've got so many great skills and ones that you know I wish I had uh, you may not know this but you're all polymaths and I know that because I asked Margaret about polymaths I said I've run across this word polymath and she said well she said sit down and get your pencil out she said I'll explain it to you she said poly she said comes from the Greek which is many so for instance you get polytechnic many technical things you get uh, polystyrene you get <laughs> Uh, Pollyanna, you get all sorts of things, but polymath means that you have many, many skills. And in everyday life, you have to exercise all of those skills, really. You've got to be actors in your pub, and you know that you know, you've got to put on a bit of a performance. You've got to be restaurateurs, you've got to be chefs, you've got to be sellermen, you've got to be marketing people that can get out there and build a business and drive it forward, you've got to be publicists that can publicize and bring people in, you've got to be building maintenance managers if you like, you've got to you know, be able to look after your buildings. Um, you've got all of those things, you've also got I guess to have the patience of Job, you've got to be marriage guidance counsellors. You've got to have the stamina of long distance runners. You've got to be patient because you've got to deal with those idiots at head office from time to time, don't I? <laughs> but like me, in The Apprentice, you've got to work within a framework. You know, in The Apprentice, you know, Alan and, and Margaret and I and the, and the contestants work within the framework of The Apprentice run by the BBC. It's the slickest production company you can imagine. And I went, uh, I went last night to um, a theatre in uh, Soho, some of you may know, the Rex in Rupert Street. And um, seen better days actually. And there were 60 people there that are the production team on that show, right? and they make it happen. And just as we can only function within the framework of The Apprentice and the BBC and all the money they throw at it, so you guys can only really operate within the framework of Fuller's. And this isn't some sort of ma management uh, directive that I've received, but Fuller's makes it happen or gives you that framework, that platform whereby you can run great businesses because each of those houses is your own business in that way, you know. Um, 
So in that sense, I guess you're very lucky. And then you go back and you think, well, the Publican Awards, I think, were ten days ago or so? Just about that, Nick, yeah. Yeah. And who, who won the most, the best tenanted award? And who won the best managed house award? Yeah? You guys did. And I say bravo.